Today is day seven of our trip, mm -hmm. and Nancy and I are enjoying our breakfast. We're having our what turns out to be our favorite breakfast, which is uh, yogurt oatmeal uh, allowed to chill overnight in mango juice. It's absolutely delicious. Um, so we just opened the refrigerator in the morning, and it's there and ready for us. So we had that today. Say good morning, Nancy. Hi. <laughs> So this is where we are. There's a little class B R V. It's a beautiful day again. It's supposed to be high 90s. That's what we can see out. A little crowded, but really not impactful. It was really hot last night. We had to get up in the middle of the night and uh, make some adjustments so we could sleep. And actually, it was a lot cooler than we um, had given it credit for. Uh, I turned this fan on. I have this fan in the ceiling, and I will show you where that is right now. This fan here is awesome because what the fan does, I'll turn it on, you can hear it. And it sucks air uh, out of the uh, RV. And then of course we have the uh, back windows open. And with the back windows open, with the back windows open right there, it creates tremendous uh, uh, air circulation and right now the air is really cool when you do that so that allowed us to sleep because within our bed which is right up here the bed is on top and the bed comes down I'm just going to bring it down just a little bit so you can get an idea I'm not going to smack Nancy on the head but there's the bed and I'll turn the lights on so you can get an idea what it looks like up there there's our bed and that comes down and it, and it and it basically uh, lands right next to the windows. So the level of the bed is actually the level here, the level here, that's the level of the bed. And uh, we slept good last night. So we're getting ready to take off after Nancy gets done eating. Till then, estoy panidin. has now changed. These are the Rocky Mountains. Uh, Wyoming is maybe uh, 25 miles west of here. We are headed toward the Black Hills of South Dakota because we do have some time between check-in. Check-in is until 3 o'clock local time. 3 to 8 I was told. It is now only 11.20 and uh, that gives us time to go by the Black Hills of South Dakota which we had not planned on, on doing. So I think Nancy and I are, are all hyped up for that. So we just entered the Black Hills. Just want to show our faces. Nancy got a new hat. Say hello, Nancy. Yes. Oh, well, look here and look at the camera. Yeah. Say hello. Yes. 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 She got a new hat. After our hike yesterday where she, if she forgot her hat, we decided to get her one that is going to serve her well when it gets... Uh, it gets to be uh, direct sunlight in 90 degree weather. The scenery is absolutely, absolutely breathtaking. It's absolutely beautiful. For example, I'm just going to turn the camera forward and give you an idea of what we're looking at just right now. It's absolutely gorgeous. So again, just wanted to share. It's beautiful. Entering, well, we are maybe about uh, an hour away from the actual Black Hills National Park. So our little adventure to uh, Black Hills uh, National Park turned into quite uh, <laughs> quite an adventure actually. Uh, we 
We ended up on this dirt road and we had to park to walk to our destination. I have no idea uh, what or where that is, but we did not want to risk it because cell reception is spotty. So we're on top of a mountain somewhere out here in the middle of nowhere. We did get good cell reception, so we're able to plug in the coordinates for our next destination, which would be the RV park where we're staying tonight. So we're safely on our way back. What do you think, Nancy? Yes. Was it crazy or what? Crazy. <laughs> Just a quick look around. You can actually smell the pine cones. It's beautiful. That's beautiful. As far as the eye can see. We're in the middle of the Black Hills. But if we're waiting for... This is the road we've been on for about the last 45 minutes. It's a crazy dirt road. So we stopped in this little town. Looks like an old western town. So Nancy and I are going for a walk. Right smack in the middle of Black Hills, South Dakota. So we're gonna walk around a little bit. So Nancy found a store that she really likes. And this is it. <laughs> Spinners and gadgets. And this is the main drag of Hill City. Uh, Idaho. It's called Hill City because it's in the middle of Black Hills. So this is the main drag. It was kind of parked and have walked around. There's little restaurants up and down, almost reminiscent of a uh, old western town. But uh, this is the kind of stuff that Nancy really, really likes. So we're trying to find something small that we can buy that'll, that we can put in our RV because we are really hurting for space. There really isn't much space for anything. Uh, we're, we're already kind of cramped up, so we're, we're kind of looking and shopping so we can uh, make everybody happy. We're going to Crazy Horse Mountain. We have some time. So there's no point in going to the uh, campsite and just waiting around, so we might as well make some good use of our time. Let's go to Crazy Horse Mountain. We're now at the uh, Crazy Horse Welcome Center. Working over. Nancy's very, very happy. She's been here before, but boy, she wanted to see it again. And there's the uh, there's the uh, mountain. The only way to get close, I guess, is by bus. So we're now on the bus, heading over to see the uh, statue of Crazy Horse. <laughs> Uh, Nancy's very happy. We're here visiting her friend, Crazy Horse, up there. Okay. Having a good time, Mrs. Crazy Horse? So we've reached our campsite near uh, Mount Rushmore, and uh, it's absolutely, an absolutely beautiful campsite. So this is our picnic table, and then of course uh, there's Nancy Joe, the RV. Of course, this is Nancy Joe, the person. Say hi, Nancy. Say hi. Hi. Okay. <laughs> she got a hat that she likes. I kind of like it too. She looks good in that. And then this is Nancy Joe, the RV. And this is what we're looking at at our campsite, which is an absolutely gorgeous valley. And I'm told, I meet a metal gentleman who says this, uh, as evening starts to uh, come in, will be uh, uh, the site for many deer that apparently come down to uh, spend the evening, or maybe even graze. So we'll be looking out for those. And then tomorrow we're going to head on out and uh, uh, see Mount Rushmore. We just got back from, here comes another, a big fifth wheel, so he's probably gonna park right in front of us. So tomorrow we're gonna to go see Mount Rushmore and we'll have some more videos, but we might even uh, tune in a little bit later on tonight. So this is the office of the campground that we're staying at. We decided to walk up. It's a quiet, cool evening. 
absolutely gorgeous. We just met some people from Nebraska. We're just chilling out before we take our evening shower and go to bed. So this will probably be our final video for the evening. It's been a wonderful, exciting, extraordinary day. Lots of memories. Having said that, good night to everyone. Tomorrow after all is another day. Stoy bani din. Today is June the 5th. We just got up. Good morning, everyone. Say good morning, Nancy. Yes. Okay. So we're off to Mount Rushmore. The destination is on your left. Mount Rushmore National Memorial. Arrived. Yes. So here we are yes. at the uh, National Memorial. And there are the four presidents. A beautiful sight. It's already busy, 9.30 in the morning. Here we go. Here's Nancy. And this is the memorial. Museum and such. And then everybody's just standing around in a little amphitheater. A little amphitheater. That's why we eat breakfast. Let's go. And of course, the main attraction are the four presidents. George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, Teddy Roosevelt, and Abraham Lincoln. There they are. So we're done with the Mount Rushmore Memorial. It's sad, but there really, really wasn't anything to it. We just saw the uh, statues, and uh, that was it. I kind of enjoyed the uh, Crazy Horse uh, Memorial. Museum and of Indian uh, of Indian heritage uh, because there was more to see. Part of the problem may be the fact that the area is under construction, but it appears to me it's just another government building, and it's not very appealing actually. Uh, not not for us on this trip when we're supposed to see the USA. Um, so no, I don't know the. Uh, Respect to the presidents, the carvings are beautiful on the mountain. But it's sad that there really isn't anything else to look at. So we're trying to find some scenery along the way. Back, Nancy, what do you think? Should we go take some pictures and yeah. some videos from some of the beautiful places we saw on the way up? Yeah. Oh, let's do that. So we came down the mountain road and then we noticed this absolutely gorgeous lake. We actually saw this on the way up. So we're going to go down and explore it and see what it says. Horse Steel Lake was created in the 1930s when the Civilian Conservation Corps built a dam in Pine Creek, South Dakota Senator for his artistic love of nature, which developed small idyllic lakes. Oh, so this is actually a man-made lake. So this is this lake at the foothills of uh, Mount Rushmore. It's a man-made lake, but there's a lot of campers all the way around. If you look on the other side, and as you pan, Across the way there's somebody with their boondocking. I have no way how you get in there. But there's a lot of that around here. And of course, this is the other end of the lake. Uh, that's the road that uh, the car there is obviously coming down from the mountain. The mountain's off to the right. But this is absolutely beautiful. And it's cool here, it's breezy. It's 87 degrees up there. Down here, I'd say it's about 15 degrees lower and there's a nice cool breeze. Don't you think Nancy's comfortable? Yeah. Yeah. There's benches here, but they're all taken. So we're just gonna take it all in for a few minutes and then continue on our journey. Um, today, July 5th, June 5th rather, sorry. Today, June 5th, which is actually the eighth day of our, uh, of our trip. So we found a nice Mexican restaurant along the main drag of Custer, South Dakota. And Nancy got herself a huge margarita. And I got myself the, uh, I asked for the most popular Mexican beer on draft. It's a nice little place. So today has been a relatively slow day. There's Mrs. Crisos. We went to Mount Rushmore this morning and we just did our laundry. And it's time to uh, gas up. It is 3.30 in the afternoon. So this afternoon we're planning on doing 
several things. We're done watching. There really isn't anything else to see here. Just to give you an idea of what this gas station looks like. It's a Dollar General across the street. Uh, a lot of RV traffic. So we got some gas. We're going to fill up the tanks because we have a six-hour drive tomorrow. We're going to sort out things we don't need. We brought too much stuff. So Nancy and I are going to go through the things that we don't need today. And then uh, at some point we're going to stop at a Home Depot, buy a box, and then uh, uh, ship it back home. Give ourselves some room in the back of the, uh, of the RV. Okay, so let's say hello to Mrs. Creases. We'll probably have one more video to say goodnight. Say hello, Mrs. Creases. Okay.